suspect covered in blood. Well, Spokane County Sheriff's detectives are looking for one of two suspects who broke into a Deer Park apartment and shot a man. A single bullet struck Harry Ed Geisbrecht in the head. He died just a few hours later at Sacred Heart Medical Center. KXY4 Chef Humphrey joins us now live from the Public Safety Building where one of those suspects made his first appearance in court. And Jeff, the suspect uh, denying any involvement. And Nadine, that's true, but he is likely not being honest with detectives. That's because when patrol deputies took Mr. Lebecki into custody, he had blood spatter on his face and was hiding near an empty gun holster. Deputies are confident they have one of two suspects in custody, but still not sure of the motive in this murder. Ed Geisbrecht and two other people were inside his place at the Pinecrest Manor Apartments when they heard a loud banging. Geisbrecht was almost to his front door when the two suspects kicked it wide open. Deputies arrived on scene, um, found an adult male victim um, with an apparent gunshot wound to the head um, lying on the floor inside one of the apartment units. Witnesses told deputies no words were spoken and nothing taken after the shooting. Geisbrecht was targeted with a single fatal shot to the head, but detectives don't know why. Well, the neighbor said he's a he's a great guy, dependable neighbor, um, and nothing is jumping out at us right now, um, leading us down the road of, of why this crime, this heinous crime, obviously took place. Detectives would know even less if arriving patrol deputies had not spotted 61-year-old Richard Klepecki hiding in the bushes at nearby Deer Park Middle School. Klepecki told investigators he got that blood on his face falling down on the ice. But detectives say what's more likely is that's the victim's blood, and so deputies took a sample of it so they can tie Klepecki to the shooting scene. Great police work on their part. Um, obviously, it's going to be a big piece of the puzzle trying to figure out exactly, you know, why this terrible crime took place. Nadine, based on witnesses' descriptions, detectives do not think Klepaki, the man you just saw, actually pulled the trigger in this homicide. That suspect is much younger, a white male, 19 to 25 years old, who was wearing a blue and white bandana as a mask when he fired this fatal shot. So, Jeff, if that suspect is still at large and likely armed, should folks in Deer Park be worried tonight? Well, only from the standpoint that you certainly wouldn't want to cover this young man who apparently has a gun and is not afraid to use it. This was not a robbery or burglary gone bad, so it wasn't a random murder. Somebody specifically wanted this gentleman dead, and that's why the folks living in Deer Park tonight should feel safe inside their homes. Reporting live in Superior Court, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.